Once again, the ATF is trying to make you a felon for something that you legally purchased. The ATF yesterday, on Friday the 13th, January 2023, finalized their proposal on what they want to do regarding pistol braces. Now, the very existence of the ATF is a direct violation of the Constitution. Shall not be infringed. It's four simple words, yet the entire premise, the existence of the ATF. Their, 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 their total purpose is simply to violate the Constitution. It's to infringe upon your rights. That's literally all that they do. And the ATF itself, there is no constitutional mandate for the bureaucracy. The three-letter agencies don't even have to exist, much less a three-letter agency like the ATF. Funny enough, and I have a whole podcast on this, The Deep Dive with Victor Nieves, available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, a whole podcast on the tyranny of the bureaucracy and the fact that these three-letter agencies like the ATF, like the EPA, they have no constitutional authority to make laws. We all know, you know, think back to your fourth grade civics class. We all know that the, the Congress, the legislature, right, they make the laws. Our Congress makes the laws. The president signs them into law, and the executive branch, the, the administrative branch, they enforce the law. Well, the ATF, if you chart out the different branches of government, the ATF falls directly under the president of the United States. They're in the executive branch. So the idea that the ATF within the executive branch can somehow make new laws is a very clear direct violation of the separation of powers. What they've been allowed to do, because unfortunately Congress has given up their power, they've given away their authority in what they refer to as rule-making power. Congress has granted the ATF this so-called rule-making power and given them authority to essentially make new law by interpreting existing laws of Congress, which is exactly what the ATF wants to do here. They want to essentially outlaw pistol braces on an AR-15 pistol, which we can throw up some pictures here in just a second. Uh, we'll do right here will be a picture of an AR-15. That's what an AR-15 looks like. We're all familiar with that. Now, this is what an AR-15 pistol looks like. That is a pistol. According to the ATF's regulations, all of their standards, that is an AR-15 platform pistol. Now, this is what a pistol brace looks like. This is The pistol brace is what the ATF wants to get rid of. The pistol brace, which was designed, truthfully, was designed to help people who have one arm, which a lot of them were combat veterans, etc. They only had one arm. Well, to shoot an AR-15 pistol, uh, it's not very easy because you can't stabilize. Well, this piece of plastic was made to clamp around the forearm to stabilize the, the, the pistol, the firearm, so that you could shoot it more accurately. It was designed literally for wounded combat veterans so that they could shoot. Now, this is what it looks like when you take that piece of plastic that stabilizes on the forearm and you put it on that AR-15 pistol. That's what that looks like. Okay, so now that is what the ATF has a problem with. They have a problem with you taking that exact same AR-15 pistol and putting on a little thing that clamps to your forearm. Keep in mind, up until now, that was completely legal. If you purchased one of those pistol braces to use for yourself or whatever, it was 100% entirely legal. Now, the ATF wants you to, to essentially register that firearm as an SBR, a short-barreled rifle, which has been highly regulated under the NFA. You have to get a special tax stamp. You have to get a special you know, class of license. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you have to do and register with the ATF to say that you have an SBR, a short-barreled rifle. And of course, if you don't register with the ATF, if you don't do the paperwork, if you don't pay the extra fee, if you don't do all of the, the, the you know, jumping through the different hoops, you're going to be a felon up to 10 years in prison. You will be a felon for being in possession of something that you bought legally. You know, even way back in the day in the 30s when the NFA, the National Firearms Act, when the NFA was first put into practice, they grandfathered in all of the existing firearms that would, you know, later on be regulated. Things like short-barreled rifles. They grandfathered in all of the legally purchased ones and then they just regulated it going forward, which I have tremendous beef with the NFA. If you'd like to hear the, the whole history on that, once again, I have a podcast, Deep Dive Podcast. It's titled something like the NFA. Anyways, 
They're not doing that this time. They're not grandfathering it in. They're giving you about 120 days from the time that they put this into effect, which will likely be Monday or sometime during this coming week at the time of uploading this video. You'll have 120 days, if you happen to be an owner of one of these pistol braces, 120 days to register as, as having an SBR, a short-barreled rifle, go through all of the headache, all of the hoops you have to jump through in order to possess that firearm. And Attorney General Merrick Garland, he had a quote on this. I'm going to just pull it up on my laptop and read it for you directly. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen here. He said, almost a century ago, Congress determined that short-barreled rifles must be subject to stricter legal requirements. He goes on and says, policymakers understood then what we still know to be true. Yeah, okay. What we still know to be true today. Short-barreled rifles present a deadly combination. He says, they're easier to conceal than rifles. That much is true. And then, here's the stupid part. He says, but they are more powerful and lethal than pistols. Remember, I'll show the pictures again. So this is an AR-15. This is an AR-15 pistol. And this is an AR-15 pistol with the pistol brace attached. Now, I don't know if you guys are like super firearm enthusiasts or whatever, but all three of these different firearms have the same barrel length. All three of these different firearms, well, not the AR-15 full length, actually. It has a longer barrel, which is better for ballistics and gives you more feet per second, better velocity. You get more, more range, and it's actually more deadly with a longer barrel. 5.56 five, does wonderful things out of a 16 to 20 inch barrel. But anyways, the the pistols, right? So you have the the well we'll flash it up on the screen again. We have the AR-15, we have the AR-15 pistol with no brace, then we have the AR-15 pistol with a brace. These all have the exact same caliber of round. The 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 two pistol options were one that's a pistol, one that's now an SBR. They have the exact same barrel length. They fire the exact same ammunition. They are ballistically identical. And for, for Merrick Garland to say that one is somehow more lethal, more deadly, more powerful than the other one is so unbelievably stupid. It's the same exact gun. The only difference Literally, the only difference between the two firearms is that one has a piece of plastic on the back of it. That does virtually nothing. It doesn't change the ballistics. It doesn't change the caliber. It doesn't change how far it's, you know, accurate. It, it changes absolutely nothing. Yet Merrick Garland says, because, you know, he's incredibly stupid, he says he knows more about firearms than you do. And, and that's too dangerous. We can't be having those darn short barreled rifles that are so much more lethal, so much more deadly than a normal rifle, than a, than a normal pistol. Well, by their own definition, remember, this is a pistol. This is now an SBR. They are the same exact firearm. Anyways, folks, that's all I've got for you. On a completely separate, totally unrelated note, make sure that you go buy yourself some kit. Maybe get some plates, a chest rig, a battle belt. Get an IFAC. Get some medical stuff. Train with your buddies. Do some LARPing. Do some airsofting or whatever. Get trained. Know your firearms. Buy some ammunition. And never let anybody take any of that from you unless it is from your cold, dead hands. And when I say that, I really do mean it. Anyways, folks, take care. God bless. That's all I got for you today. Until next time, keep me in your prayers. Keep your country in your prayers. Stay safe out there.